Hey, what's going on everybody? In this little series here, I'm gonna show you how to use the Async Gadget tool that I've created. And Async Gadget is a, an extension that you install on Google Chrome. And from there, there's lots of different features that it has. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you after you purchase and install the Chrome extension, you're gonna to wanna to come up to your extensions tab and make sure that you have it pinned. When you have it pinned, that will put it up here on your extensions bar. And then from there, you can go ahead and log in. I'm actually already logged into this one. So once you're logged in, you can head to an Amazon product page and you're going to see the Async Gadget pop up here on the right hand corner, just above the buy box area on, on Amazon. And Async Gadget is going to show you restrictions, hazmat, meltable, and an Async copy feature here. And these are the basic functions for, for the Async Gadget. If you are not restricted, you can click the, the no icon here and it's going to take you to the list of product page for that ASIN. Now over here we've got a product that I am restricted on. So if you were to click yes on the restricted area, it will pop up on this page here and you can request uh, approval for that product. We also show that this product is not a hazmat, but it is a meltable product. So Amazon has 60,000 plus ASINs that are meltable. And this checks that database for you and gives you a quick red light, green light indication on these uh, indicators here. And then we've got our ASIN copy feature here. Uh, I'll get to that in a second, actually. Let's talk about the hazmat. And there's what an example of the hazmat looks like. This is a hazardous product according to Amazon. According to their ASIN search, it comes up as hazardous. So you're gonna have to take those extra precautions when you go ahead and ship that product into Amazon. Some extensions that are similar to this will not check the ASIN itself. They'll check whether your account can sell hazmat products or not. And if your account can sell hazmat, it'll actually show up as a green. Um, but that's not true. Uh, ASIN doesn't do, ASIN gadget doesn't do that. So it checks deeper into the specific ASIN to make sure that it is a hazmat or not. And then you got your ASIN copy feature here. So you can click uh, copy and that's just gonna copy the ASIN as text. Or if you click the link, it will copy the ASIN, but it will be a clickable um, hyperlink if you can put it in a Google Sheet then or something like that if you want. And then up here on your user interface for ASIN Gadget, you can turn off some of these features. You can actually turn off the extension itself. You can turn off Amazon Restriction Check, Hazardous Good Status, Multiple ASIN Check. So let's just say it is October or November and you don't care if products are meltable or not because you can now send them in. That window has opened up to send in the multiple products. You can go ahead and turn that multiple check off. And then when you refresh the page, Ace and Gadget will reload, but it will not show you the meltable, the check there. So if you wanna do that, that is one feature. So those are the basic features and in the next little section, I'll get into some of the deeper features of Ace and Gadget. So I'm going to show you the additional features now that ASIN Gadget offers, and we're going to start with the Amazon or the ASIN uh, copy from a search page. So I got a search uh, here for alternator tester. We can click on any of these, right click on them, and we're going to see a copy ASIN button there. So if we copy that, we're going to copy the ASIN. We can put it in a Google Sheet or in an Excel sheet, however you want to paste the ASIN. And then I'm working on getting a copy ASIN as a URL feature so if you see that added here we'll have implemented that by and then hopefully now next thing up we're going to talk about the dual link feature here you got three options you can turn dual link off one click or two or two clicks and this is used with the OE hunt sourcing list only no other list has this feature that I'm aware of within Google Sheets so and that's going to show you right here the dual link icon whatever you have it set to will I got it set to two clicks right now, so it will open up the store URL and the Amazon URL when you double click. So there you can see it opened up the source and the Amazon page both using that dual link feature. And you can turn it to one click if you want, or you could turn it off if you don't want to use that feature at all either. And then um, next thing I'm going to add is going to be a Keepa icon in the column next to the dual link here. So you can click the Keepa icon and it will pop up the Keepa graph on the Google Sheet for you. 
So if you see that, we might have that feature added in the next week or two. And then the final feature that ASIN Gadget has that I want to tell you about is the customized context menu search. So if we are here on target, we have a Scotchgard fabric water shield. We can highlight this text, right click, and then you're going to see ASIN Gadget as an option. We can search it on Google, Amazon US, or Amazon Canada since those are currently what are offered. So if we search that on Google, we're going to come up and this is just a great quick tool to allow you to manually reverse, manually source products wherever you're at, whatever store you're at. See if Amazon's got a product for it, or if you're at a source, see if you can find it somewhere cheaper. And then you have the customization options here. If you click on customize context menu search, you can add different links if you want. Um, you can add a parent. So if you want to keep all your Amazon URLs under one, you'll just type in as a parent there. And then when you right click here, you're going to see you got an Amazon option and then you can go to Amazon US or Canada. You can add additional websites if you want to search eBay or something like that. You're just going to have to figure out what the search term criteria is for you to do that. And that I think is all the features that ASIN Gadget has to offer right now. We are always updating and add new features to this thing. So if you guys have any any questions, any comments, any ideas that we can put in here, be sure to click on bug report or contact us. If you do have an issue, you can click on the bug report. It'll take you to a Google Sheet where, where you can send in your report and I will see that within 24 to 48 hours. And I can go ahead and get a response to you for whatever the issue is. And if you just want to reach out, you can reach out to me at Derek at OEHunt.com. You can use the contact us feature here, take you to my webpage, fill out a contact form, and it's got all my different information here for you. And thanks so much for your guys' support with getting everything up and running here. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you out there. Happy hunting.